Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to the all new course on Xamarin UI Test. Xamarin UI Test is a UI automation framework for testing Android and iOS app in both Windows and Mac operating system. So this is a completely all new course which is not released anywhere on the internet right now. I hope this course is going to be really really helpful. So in this video we'll be talking about an introduction to Xamarin. Again, mobile automation testing in Excel Automation's channel is already covered and we have discussed a lot of different automation testing tools on mobile automation such as Appium for Java, Appium for C Sharp, Robotium, and a little bit on Cylindroid. So these are some of the ideas and we have already discussed some of these concepts in our Excel Automation channel. So now we know that the mobile automation testing, yeah, it can be done by some or the other way in different languages. And we also saw some of the drawbacks, some hiccups while working with these different tools and technologies. But this time with Xamarin, we are going to discuss some of these concepts and we are also going to discuss some of the hiccups that we have with Xamarin while compared with Appium itself. So let's see what are the hiccups and what are the good things which Xamarin brings for us. The agenda of this course is this. We are going to address the following topics on Xamarin UI test. The first thing is the introduction. This is the video which we can talk about the introduction of Xamarin itself. Not just the Xamarin UI test, but the Xamarin itself as a whole. We are then going to jump into the getting started with Xamarin and then we're going to create a Xamarin application for Android. And then we're going to create our first Xamarin.UI test for Android and iOS application. And then we are going to understand the basics of Xamarin.UI test. And then we'll be working with different locators and then we are going to work with queries and app result classes which is available within Xamarin.UI test and then we're going to work with the native apps, hybrid apps and we're going to work with gestures and some of the page object model high level concepts, backdoors and more advanced concepts on Xamarin. So this is the overall high level agenda of this course. So we'll be improving a lot more while we start working with the course and while we progress in this course We'll keep on adding some new topics here and there, but this is just a high level agenda of this course. Introduction Xamarin.UI test is a testing framework that enables automated UI acceptance tests written in NUnit to be run against the iOS and Android apps. And it integrates tightly with Xamarin.iOS and Xamarin.Android project, but it can also be used with iOS and Android project written natively in Objective-C, Swift and Java languages. That's the very, very cool thing. We can directly integrate the test with the application developed with the Xamarin.iOS and Xamarin.Android project. Xamarin.UI test is a automation library that allows the end unit test to execute on the Android and iOS devices. The test interacts with the user interface just as a user would, enters text, tapping buttons, performing gestures, just swipes, everything just happens instantly in Xamarin.UI test. Well, let's also talk about some of the history of Xamarin before we really, really understand Xamarin itself. Because Xamarin is not a very new gene altogether, but it is not a much discussed topic on internet right now, at least in the form of videos. So let's understand what Xamarin is so that you can get a high level idea on what Xamarin is. Well, Xamarin, now part of Microsoft, was created by developers who created Mono. Well, again, if you talk, what is this Mono? Mono framework runs across platforms such as Mac, Linux, and Windows operating systems, sharing common code base of .NET framework. Again, this is the real breakthrough which made Microsoft to really run on different platform itself, I would say. According to Xamarin, over 1.4 million developers were using Xamarin products in 120 countries around the world as of April 2017. This is really, really cool. Now we can see that Xamarin is actually very, very powerful and it is pretty much covering almost 120 countries across the globe. And the good news is from Visual Studio 2017, Xamarin is freely available even in Visual Studio Community Edition. So you can just start trying with Xamarin and work and see how things work. So Xamarin Studio is the IDE to develop both Android and iOS app for Windows and Mac until last year. But now Visual Studio 2017 has replaced Xamarin Studio completely in Mac. So that's what I was saying. So Visual Studio 2017 
Community Edition also has Xamarin and you can try it out by yourself if you have a copy of Visual Studio 2017 with you. Just go ahead and download that. But we will be discussing about that in our next video. We have Appium. Is it different from that? Well, that's the first question even I encountered because we have already released some video on Appium and Robotium and Cylindroid. But what is this Xamarin? Why is this so special? Well, the answer is yes. Xamarin is a more sophisticated framework which natively supports Android and iOS app built using Xamarin since they are developed by the same developers who actually built the framework. But Appium is developed on the top of Selenium WebDriver and there is no guarantee that it will support Xamarin.Android and iOS fully. But this comparison that we are doing right now is only for Xamarin based application. But if we talk about some other application which is developed by some other technologies for native and hybrid application, then this discussion is really, really not legal. But let's talk about some of the general difference between both Appium and Xamarin. Xamarin natively supports c -sharp language and it only supports c -sharp. There is no other language that it supports. But Appium has c -sharp language binding, but it's not updated every time. It has other language bindings like Java, Perl, Ruby, but yes, Appium also has c -sharp language binding. Xamarin is faster to work with since there is no headache while working with object identification. And the reason is because Xamarin UI test is actually natively supported in Xamarin.iOS and Android and that's why it is pretty faster in object identification itself. Well, Appium is pretty much the same but needs to try out different tools like UI automators or Appium inspector. That's the problem there. The object identification mechanism in Xamarin using Ripple is pretty, pretty faster. Xamarin has its own cloud solution and it's easily deployable and testable in multiple different physical devices. Whereas in Appium, we need to hook up with some different third party vendors to perform the physical device testing on cloud. Xamarin C Sharp works with both Mac and Windows. Well, Appium C Sharp only works with Windows, but Appium C Sharp will never work in Mac because right now Visual Studio .NET Core 2.0 don't support Appium library in NuGet package. Even if you try to install that, it's going to throw you an error. But Appium for Java actually works with Mac OS. Xamarin works with native, hybrid, and web apps. Well, it's no different in Appium. Yes, it also supports all these three different technologies. And the editor of choice, well, Xamarin now fully integrate with Visual Studio 2017, meaning it works Visual Studio 2017 in Windows and Visual Studio for Mac in Mac operating system. So these are really, really helpful to see that we have a unified editor to write the same code. And again, the code that we can write right now for Android is gonna be exactly the same code that can work with iOS as well, but there will be a little change here and there if you're gonna change the application's identification mechanism. So let's get started with all these discussions that we have discussed so far, and we are gonna discuss with installation from our next video. Once again, thank you very much for watching these videos and have a great day.